Good afternoon, friends, and welcome back Hello, to welcome some more to PGA Tour. PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Luke will be alongside Rich Bean here in Las Vegas. It's known as Thin City, but we're at TPC Summerlin for the golf. What's this course like? This golf course historically plays firm and fast and yields lots of birdies. So players going into this week know full well that they have to have the putter going. They need to hit a lot of greens, but they also need to make sure that they're making five, six, seven birdies a day out there. Because if they're not, if they're struggling with birdies and only making pars, then the entire field is going to pass them by. It's All right. So we got firm and fast grass that we're going to be working with today. Let's just go ahead and get it popping. But still having to make birdies. Look at that. Got a perfect rip right off the bat, right down the middle. Feeling pretty good about it. That's what I'm talking about. So we're coming off of a, uh, a very impressive first performance. Ooh, look at the roll we've got going on with this guy. Here we go. First ever PGA Tour event in the last episode. We nailed it. Just absolutely dominated. Just really. Really, really kind of enjoyed ourselves, had a great time. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's pick up an eagle here. No reason not to believe they can't do it again this week. It's going to be a little bit too far to the left, unfortunately. Wanted to hang that a little bit more to the right, but it looks like... I mean, it's going to be a tough one. We might be able to get a birdie here. Nine foot putt, left to right. A little bit too hard. What are you doing, Trev? What, what are you doing? Trev, Trev, what are you doing? Three foot putt. Just knock that in. Yeah, Woo, that thing started tracking a little bit further to the left, so we're going to par out that first one. But yeah, first event, absolutely dominated. Felt really, really, really good about it. Um, let's, let's see what we can do here. Man, these drives seem crazy long, but... It plays slightly down I guess here. not. There's just so crazy terrain here. Like, we're going over all the different deserts approach. and plants and stuff. However, Look at that empty desert out there. So no the water in sight. We have this beautiful Smart green golf course right in the middle of nowhere. I wonder how much it costs to irrigate this thing. But, um, yeah, so we did well in the last one. We have since upped the difficulty. So it should be interesting. We'll see what we could do. We've got a two mon our wins here. So we're going to bounce and roll a little bit. I'm going to say probably aim, I mean, two miles an hour is not going to affect it that much. I'm going to aim about here. Going with the nine -iron Perfect thing. swing. I'm actually feeling pretty good about that. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. I'm feeling really good about that. Oh, nicely done. Mm. That's going to get us on the board with a birdie, I would hope. Six foot putt. Always love these opportunities. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Meant to put a little bit more power on that. Take away well, from the break a little bit, but little we worked it out. Well so we've got Bryce De De DeChambeau. He's five under through four holes. I don't know how he's doing that, but congrats to him. That's, that's pretty impressive. Our driver's looking pretty nice today. If we can follow it up with everything else, that's going to be good. Where are we going next? Where's... Where's the pin? We've got like fairway and then is it... Are we going right over the trees? Oh, we're going over here. Okay. So I'm going to say... I mean, this this kind of this kind of sucks. I, I don't... Oh, man. Can you put backspin with a five wood? I, I, I don't know that you can. This, this is a hard... This is a hard shot. We're just going to have to go for it. A little bit fast, which is going to bank us after us. to the, the left. Right here. We're going to be in that. We're going to be in that that bunker. Nope. We're going to stay in the fringe. All right. John, you're down there. What's happening? Down here on the fourth. Not bad. Guys, this is Billy Horschel. Let's see what Billy Horschel's got. For birdie. For birdie. He's got to sink this one, huh? Well, it's crazy the amount of skill these guys have. The it, it really is. We'll watch a few of these throughout the day, but I'm, I'm not going to watch too many of them. So here we go. We've got a long chip here. Looks like there's going to be a slight right to left, but not a lot. Greens are pretty flat. Maybe even a little bit uphill, so we might want to go a little bit further. I'm going to go for something like this. Oh. 
What a shot. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. And it's time to recap that. I don't know why I'm so good at chipping in this game. Everything else I'm like very, very average at, if not below average. But for whatever reason, my chip game is strong. What a shot. That, that might be the shot of our career so far right there. That was fantastic. So through three, we're two under. Three behind the guy in first place. They have definitely upped the difficulty on those. There's no doubt about that. Going to be just ripping a driver here. A little bit fast, which is going to curve us off to the left, but it looks like it might be doable. This is a... Uh, a pretty easy par. For oh, don't don't get over there. No, don't don't you don't you dare. This is looking like it's a pretty easy par four. Should be another good opportunity for a birdie. Pitching wedge. I'm gonna go with a nine. We're gonna bring it back a lot, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and and place it. Place it about there. A little bit hard. Fast hit as well. Dang it. We had the right idea. I think I think we had a little bit too much on it, to be honest. I, I just... Good opportunity coming up. Man. 28-foot putt here. Lots of left to right. Longer the putt, the more we're going to need. We're going to need a lot, especially there at the end. I'm going to guess something like this. Huh. Well, I wasn't really even close. But, that's textbook golf right there. Par four. Takes two to get on. Two, two to put it in. Par, birdie, birdie, par. I'll take it. Got to start working our way up, dude, if we if we would have tried to win this ball game. Here we go. One ball on our win. Not going to affect us that much, but we are obviously going to roll quite a bit. So I'm going to go for something it, like that. Sure you avoid that bunker that's short and a little right. bit slow. It's going to curve us right. But we should bounce off the hip of that sand trap there. And roll, baby. There it is. That's going to be an easy shot. That's not as easy as I thought. Seven foot putt. Oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> that was a big one. That brings us to three under. We're a few strokes behind, but John, we're in the hunt. Down there? Well, guys, I'm down on the sixth, and this is Cameron Champ's next shot. Cameron Champ. Oh, this is our rival. Ha, you suck, bro. It's great looking shot, this. Mm, maybe not. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. If that was me, I would have made it. I mean, let's yeah, let's let's hole. be real. This is how the leaderboard looks Here we go. Right now. Got a par four here? Dude, this is so... Oh, a little bit fast. That's going to curve us to the right. That's a little bit dangerous. Oh, we bounced back to the right. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Right into the middle. That's that's perfect. It's so nice playing with no wins. You know, nothing. Maybe one mile on our win. Something like that. All right. I forgot to try to turn off the, the, the replace. I mean, it's cool. But I just feel like there's okay, too many of them. Back to the I wonder if there's a way you can a limit it. Under par at the moment. All right, Time pitching wedge. Position. So this one's gonna roll a bit. I think I might go nine iron and bring it back. Got a two mon hour winds, but then we have the green rolling. I'm gonna put it about right there. For the slow, nine. way slow. I hesitate. Oh gosh, that was not good. I hesitated as soon as I pulled back. We're gonna be right on the edge of the green there. That was that was that was not a good shot. That was not a good shot at all, Trev. Right up and down. A little bit left to right. Just want to make sure we get it there because it is a little bit uphill. I think we're gonna want like the pitching wedge here. Didn't that look good for a long time? That wasn't bad. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. Five foot putt. Just go ahead and sink her. There it is. You'll take it. Gonna be able to save the par there. So Sebastian Munoz and Bryson DeChambeau. 
are both up there in first. Nate Lashley and Patrick Reed are one stroke ahead of us. So let's let's keep on pushing. We've got a three mile hour win here now. Because I mentioned that, of course, it's going to start picking up a bit. But this looks pretty nice. Dude, these greens are so flat, so even, so nice compared to that first one that we did in the last episode. One win is good. Alright, four mon hour wins, so we're gonna wanna kinda aim a little bit. Maybe something like like that. Going with the a little bit fast. We're trending this more to the right though. This looks pretty good. Fiber. Ooh. We'll take it. Well, that's Put us in a great spot for a birdie. Let's see if we can start fighting back at these dudes. Oh yeah, we're just we're just gonna be able to sink that one. Count it. Mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. Currently tied for third. For Love to see it through Always seven. Like we're looking. Dude, we're looking pretty good. If we can keep this up, we're going to be in good thing. shape. So we're going to be trying to make it to the green on one here. Thirty-nine from the tips. A well-struck oh. shot mm. will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. The problem is this is gonna roll quite a bit. We had a Freewood. perfect shot there. That. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> if that would have just dumped right in, just hold it. Ridiculous. That was that was that was a tough one. Thirty-two foot putt here, right to left. Not strong right to left, but it is a long one. So I'm thinking. Something that felt good. That felt good. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. He's that was a tough hole. Place. That was a short hole, but that was a tough one. You couldn't iron it to put spin on it and, and you know, get it to stop where you wanted. So it was like just long enough, but not too long, and it, it hole was at the front of the thing. Weird slope on the greens. To just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safe in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. Strong shot to the left side, he said. Ooh. Typically played in the I'm hitting the driver off the season. deck here, boys. He does have a great field these days. The Shriners Hospital for Children's Open stays in Las Vegas. A great atmosphere around in the city. Rich, what do you like the most about it? We're in Slap! Vegas, baby. I mean, Holy we're cow, that thing had a lot of carry to it. A lot of roll to it. We're good. I thought that was going to be much better than it was. We probably could have aimed a little bit more to the right, huh? That would have been a, a decent idea. And the players Bryson, I don't, I don't care about Bryson, man. Vegas, he was, you know, letting their hair down a little bit. A lot of it has to go back it, to charity. Was company. he at his six shot they, uh, and still on the tee? Is that what just happened? I'm not even sure what was going on there. The All right, so we're a little bit downhill, a little bit left to right. We want to aim it short and let it ride. They want to come out and work on their game. Not really that much left to right though. Aim it short, let it ride, just let it roll. Roll out. Roll ah. Didn't quite have enough on it. We'll be able to sink that, though. As for another birdie. We got five in the front half. Let's see what we can do with the back. Looking like Tommy Fleetwood is still giving us a, a run for our money. He's one hole ahead of us. Tied for first. Three mile an hour win. Gonna aim about here. Dude, uh, our driver's looking good. I, I've got I've got the timing of our driver down, which makes me very, very happy. That has been something we've, we've kind of struggled with a little bit. We we're getting some weird slices and hooks and all kinds of stuff, but our long game is good. Looks to me, Rich, that this player has a ton of confidence. Irons might be able to use a little bit of work. Straight off their last start. They're going to have to make some birdies coming down the closing stretch, but they have a lot of... I feel pretty good about that one. That last win. We I have some backspin on it, so it should settle fairly quickly. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot. That oh, oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> 
What a day. Dude, what a crazy. day. This is insanity. This this is just crazy. We're playing absolutely ridiculous golf right now. This this is so great. I recorded the last episode and this one back to back. So far has been stellar, increasing the lead. I just I, I don't even I don't even know what to say. A little bit fast. That's gonna curve us left. As long as we get up over that that sand trap, we're gonna be all right. We might be in the rough stuff. Oh no, we're gonna bounce on out of that. Your boy could not hit a fairway if he tried. Don't, don't say well, that. Uh, action of plenty don't. All over the course. Let's have we we don't want to talk about that because we definitely could. Champ with an amazing shot. That was our our rival right there. I don't even care about Cameron him, dude. Keep the camera on me, all right? On to We're gonna be good to go. With him. All right, nine iron. Away, gonna put some some backspin on it. A little bit more backspin, maybe. One mod or win. We're gonna carry a bit. Not gonna roll that much. Can get him through the tough times. I think that if he figures out a way to learn how to play the golf course on the PGA Tour effectively, even his bad weeks will start making cuts and being in contention a little more often. As with most young players, dude, it's uh, like we're playing so done. well, but I just I want one of those to land. Short game has been especially sharp today. Luke. I want one of those to land. It, it, it's like we're, we're putting him so close to the hole, but none of them have ever actually been that close. You know what I mean? That puts us at seven under. It looks like we're going to have to put the opponents on hard, man. I don't know what else to say. I... I thought our performance in the last episode was was a bit of a fluke. We can't not hit the fairway, he said. <laughs> and we still did. Gonna give it some backspin here. Got a one mile an hour winds. Isn't gonna affect us much. Got a left to right on the green. Uh Feel like we probably had a little bit too much on that. I think we we probably should have brought it back a little bit, but oof, yeah, a little bit too much. Still a great shot. Just insanity. I, I'm thinking. So we get a nine foot putt here. This is not a joke. Too lightly hit, Trev. Oh, we got it anyway. <laughs> So I think what we're going to do for the next episode, because this is obviously not a fluke, I, I think we're going to have to turn up our swing difficulty to... I think we're on amateur. I think we're going to have to turn it up to, to pro or whatever the next one is. And uh, apart from that, we're also going to up the, the difficulty of the opponents to hard. So we're going to make our performance harder to do, as well as make the opponents harder to reach. We're going to have two different difficulties working against us. And the effort, that one. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the driver off the deck. I'm going to try to put this bad boy right on the green. Here we go. Just crush it, Trev. Perfect. Straight down the middle. Let's go. Just, just keep rolling. Just roll. Just roll. Just roll. Let's get this eagle. Roll. 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 Should have aimed a little bit more right. Try to get her up there. This is for Eagle. It's going uphill, so we're going to need a little bit more. I think we're going to want a gap wedge chip. About like that. Oh, I thought that one was going in. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. And the pub drops, and we're moving. Just outrageous. The way, I mean, Let's head over to the pole, just we? outrageous. The, the, I, this feels so good. I love it. Hope you guys are enjoying. The, the just, uh, I, I, I don't even know what happened. I literally, as I said in the last one, like I, I tried to record, like yesterday, I tried to record the final Corn Fairy Tour game. Absolutely bombed it. It was like the worst I had ever played. It was like back to playing normal, like the, the first time I had played. You know what I mean? Just absolutely could not hold it together. And then we come out here and do something like this where almost every single swing is perfect. You know, I think we are doing a good job of, of guessing where we need to hit it and, and reading the greens and stuff like that, which does take skill. But for whatever reason, now all of a sudden we're just like, I'm, I'm able to, to just... I'm like a robot. I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't I don't care. Oh well, let's watch him. I was gonna say I don't care about Cameron Champ. This is for par. 
If he doesn't sink it, I'm not impressed. Yeah, come on. Look at my last shot before that. No. Let's Stop with that leader. that nonsense. And after that hole, leading Tommy Fleetwood by three now. We're f dude. I, we're doing. We we turned up the difficulty and we're doing better than last episode. A lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it so this is going to curve a little bit left when it hits that that uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations when it hits that fairway because it's angled this way so it's going to bounce left I'm hoping we're going to be able to shoot it in between the side and the bunker oh yeah just like that just exactly where we wanted to put it you know what I mean yeah it, this is ridiculous so this is for eagle here I'm gonna go ahead and uh yeah, we've got a, a little bit more on that. I'm going to do backspin. Going to want to aim a little bit to the left. Maybe a little bit more backspin. I was feeling good about that one. I was feeling really good about that one. This one's going in. As long as we actually hit it. Oh, that's right. It bounced right over it. Dude, I was feeling good about that one. I just, I, I messed up. I messed up the swing. I, 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 sometimes when I get excited, I forget that you need to still flick it forward hard. That's going to end our five run streak of birdies. Just outrageous. I mean, we haven't won this yet. We got to keep that in mind. We are, we're feeling pretty good. We're hitting the ball well. We're doing our thing, but we have not won it yet. So let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We are only a couple strokes ahead, and, and there's still quite a few holes left. So, never know. We've got water hazards in front of us here. Ooh, we're going to need the driver, aren't we? Because getting down from over the back is not that easy. Dude, this is, this is nasty. I don't like this at all. choice of the driver here. Driver off the deck, but that, I mean, that thing's going to go screaming past. We kind of had to, though, right? Like, unless we were going to lay it up before the water hazard and then get it with an iron. And now intrepid on course reporter. I guess we probably, we could have adjusted the loft of it and made it a lot loftier. Bryson DeChambeau. And this one's for birdie. I don't know. We need to work on our driver control. So this is for Eagle here. We're going to be going downhill. Gonna wanna let this bad boy roll. Say it ain't so. Ooh. Rolled a lot further than I would have liked it to and didn't react as much on the, the slope as, as I would have liked it to. 13 foot putt. Not a lot to worry about. Oh! Too much power. If we would have kept our power on there, we would have been all right. If we would have had right in the middle of the power. We'll take that. I feel like we're really starting to be able to read the greens and stuff, to be honest. Ooh, we're only two strokes up two with two holes to go. To go. Luke, two Monar wins. Let's find it's also going to bounce to the left a little bit. Something like that. For the Slow hunt. swing, which is going to make us go to the right. No, we're going to be in the trap, dude. There's no way. We cannot fall apart this hard right here. Sure How was that a slow swing? I felt good about and that. Rare miss today. They've been so good with their approach. Let's watch our rival here. Here we this have for Cam par. from just a little while ago. So he's not having a very good day if he's still hitting irons for par out there. Trash. Straight trash, bro. Sure, he's a great guy in, in real life, but he's he's trash if you ask me. Okay. Just gonna give it some backspin. Gonna place it about right here. St it's still saying we're slow. I, I don't know where the slow is coming from. I'm I'm pushing it forward. That's for sure. This is for par. 14 foot putt. Left to right gets a little more intense towards the end. I'm gonna aim about right there. That was a gallant attempt. Misread it. This next putt is for bogey. Yeah, well, Had to have a bogey, I guess. You know what I mean? Not every day is going to be perfect. Let's see where we are. We are one stroke ahead. So if we can par this final hole, that's the win. 
is a 444 yard par four with a big body of water just look at that perfect on the driver i guess our irons just start agreeing with us or something like that i'm not sure so we honestly we just want to play this one safe he's done there is nobody that's going to be able to pass us at this point i like that this got a little bit more intense at the end we aren't we aren't blowing them out like we thought we were look that one was humongous i think something like that slow again it's all right. It should, it should bounce back down the green and roll to the right. Or the left, I mean. I'm sorry. Yes. Just keep going. Just keep going. We're fine. I don't know why all of a sudden, dude, it, this game is all about... You can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. <sighs> this is tough. And he can win the event 13 here. foot putt. A little bit downhill at the start. Otherwise, in that pretty flat. 12 foot putt, actually, technically. Fast greens, though. I think we're going to need something like this. We needed more than that. But did we get it close enough to make us an easy putt? It's been an impressive display today. For the final one. Three foot putt. I'm going to aim a little bit to the left. Oh my gosh, dude. Parted out for the win. One stroke. One stroke. Oh, let's go, dude. All of that, that just balling out in the first part. Holy cow. Insanity. We had a couple of pretty pretty spicy choices in there too. Kind of went for it a few times that I think Rich, ended up paying off. Had a couple of, of small issues as well, but that was good. So we've got two wins in our first two events. I, I think that is a bit much. I think what we're going to do is we're going to increase the swing difficulty. We are going to increase the opponent difficulty. And we will not be winning the next one. But we're going to be trying our hearts out. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.